Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully update our images. So by default image, we replace it with our new image, right? Which is totally fine. In this video, I want to do, I want to discuss about how can locking with the username. Okay, so by default, uh, they are using that email ad option and the password. Okay, we can e logging with the email address and password. I have already discussed about that things with you right now. If you go to that our register, in the register that is by default on the name, email, password, and then confirm password. So now here I want to do, I want to add another new field as a username and also in our database we have to update it because into the database they have no field as a um, username. You can also use it by the in name but I want to done to use another one uh, as a username. Okay, and better first of all I want to do in our man um, that is a migration that is user into the user uh, for your references i want to actually create it okay i simply created you can also remigrate it then automatically that will be create another new one as a user name okay username and username will be as a unique so right now manually i want to do to update okay so right now if you migrate it then automatically that will be created that table so which is totally fine and now i want to go to our database okay into this database i want to create another new one go to that structure and into this e structure like as after that password okay after that password i want to create another new one like i just make it as a after that password after that password column i want to create another now there is a new field is available i want to don't add on the new field and just name it as a username okay i name it as a username field and i want to make it as a worker field i i have already updated right i have already updated in our user so that will be on the string and that is username and that will be also as unique right i want to do better right now i close everything i close it there is a dashboard i close it user model will be needed welcome blade we don't need this i close it okay close it so i have already make it as unique so for the reasons that it will be as a worker i have put on the length as a 255 and then i make it as a nonable and also i make it as a unique okay that means username should be as a unique in particular that field so here i make it as a username okay username and now i click as a go so now that should be as a unique that means username field is unique for a specific for this table okay which is totally fine now i want to make it as a save okay i make it as a save now our new and another field will be added added you can see after that password now that is our another field as username so username is also unique and email before i we are using that is also unique which is totally fine so ne next process we have to do if you go to our register into the register here you can see there is no field as a username so now i want to do and to find out that file location as i told you before that is in our view okay that is if you go to that our view and that is the auth and that is our register right into the register area there is a name now i want to do to copy it and i better after this okay after this i paste it so that will be another one as a username user name field and i make that name as a username user name okay that will be the username and into this input field id i name it as a username okay that will be username i make it as a username name will be as a username and type will be as a text type great so here i simply updated one of the another field if you now click as a save all and now if you go to our page and now if you refresh it now you can see that another the another field is available as a username better i want to is very close i want to add on the class i want to use that class as a mt4 that is i want to add on the margin top as a mt4 okay that means uh, that is a margin top as a 4 now it will be get some of the space i click the save all now refresh it now you can see now that is our username great so when you register when you register oh, what exactly the things is happening here that is one of the by default as a route as a register route i have already discussed about that things with you if you go to our route list and for the register actually is working for the register um, user controller right that is a registered user controller now if you go to our auth now that is in our http controller auth and that is our register user controller right so into this register user controller now we have to do we have to also add it like simply i copy it okay copy it and then i want to do and to paste it 
now our field name our field name i make it as a username username so which is totally fine and that will be as a required that will be as a string here we don't need to use that as an email i simply remove it and also that will be unique in our user table user table means that is actually our user table right you can see that is our user table so this field will be unique in our user table which is totally fine there is a username i have already added as a required string maximum type will be maximum length as a 255 and i make it as a unique great and after that when it should be created on the new user also here we have to add it i simply copy it and then i paste it so our field name as username username right so i use that username and our requested field name our requested field name i have already named it uh, I have already named it in our register our requested field I name as a username you can see that is our requested field name so here also we have to do have to update so that will be our requested field name as a username okay friends so that's all you have to do I simply updated both of these places in here now our register should be executed now if you check it click as a save all and now if you go I want to register on the new user I click as a refresh Okay, click as a refresh. Now well, let's check this out. I make it as a test or demo. Okay, I make it as a demo and username is a demo. And pass email, I make it as a demo at the rate gmail.com. And password you do me one, two, three, four, five. You do me one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so right now our username as a demo. Now let's check this out. Click as a register. Yes, you can see our registered user is successfully created. And also it's now show as a before starting, you have to verify your email. Now let's check this out. That is our verified email. Is a demo at the rate gmail.com. I want to verify that email. Yeah, you are successfully now able to access that dashboard page. Great. Now you can see it's now display as a demo. And that is our demo at the rate gmail.com. If you now go to our database, now go to our browse. That is an that should be another new one. That is a demo is available. Demo at the rate gmail.com is also verified and then our field as a username our username is not inserted right here because of all in our model you can see into this model area i didn't add it so if you go to that our model as a user model into this user model here also you have to do you have to make it as a fillable because that for should field should be as a fillable i make our field name as a user name okay user or name Make that sure you have to also use it in our user model okay because into this user model area i have actually created that field name as a username so it's not actually getting that field now if you click the save all now let's check this out better i want to do i want to remove it okay i want to remove that user i simply remove that demo user i simply remove it which is totally fine now i want to register another one mm, click the logout so right now i refresh it and I want to go to that register now into the register page I want to again use that as a demo okay demo and I make it as a demo I'm um, username demo at the rate gmail.com you do me one two three four five and also I make it as a you do me one two three four five now let's check this out click as a register the email it will be as a demo at the rate gmail.com now click the register yeah user is created verified email i want to check that verified email again so now that is our verified email i want to verify this email which is totally fine now go to that our database now refresh it yes you can see right now that is successfully stored our username data as a demo i hope friend is very much clear to you before i didn't add it in our um in our model so make that sure here you have to add it which is totally fine so that is the, our register process is now successfully done so now i want to do i want to register it by the username not the email so here we have to register it if you want to locking it again if you want to locking it again we have to go again to the, our page right now we don't need this i want to do want to log out okay i want to log out and now in a locking page here we have to update right the same procedure now first of all we have to do have to go our our view page so simply go to that our view page that means that is in our public resources into the resources auth and then that that is our locking page right into this locking page by default they are using that email address now i want to do i want to change it that will be for the username okay username i change that username that will be as a username i make it as a username 
and id i make it as a username old as a username name will be as a username and type will be as a text right that will be the text type we simply updated that things in our view now if you click as a save all now let's check this out if you now go now refresh it now that should be changed as a username great so now if you want to add that username also you have to update some of the rules if you go to again our um, controller that is a middleware and that is one of the request into the request that is a auth and that is a logging request right so into this logging request they have um, you can see that one of the rules here we have i have already changed that rules that will be not that email that will be as a username right now into locking with the username and that is in required that is a string so here we don't need to pass any email i simply close it okay i simply close it so now that will be as a username and the password and then in our authenticated into this authenticated you can see it's now attempt that only for the email and the password right now i have already changed it now that should be not that email it should be as a username and then it will be validation expectations with the messages and that messages will be not that email here i have already changed it that that will be our free name as a username okay friend so that's all you have to do so that's all you have to do and now if you also want to change that for the logging attempt you can change that as a username so right now it's totally fine now let's check this out our logging is working or not now click the save all and now if you go right now i refresh it so i have already created on the new user as a demo at the rate gmail.com as a demo our username as a demo right now i want to do and to check check it as a demo and then i put that password as you do me one two three four five now click as a login yeah you can see you are right now successfully able to logging with our username so okay here we successfully done this job click as a logout logout is successfully working there is register there is a new field i have um, there is an, another new field i have added as a username and also for our before i have already created some of the user as a user and then kazi so better i want to add manually some of the data as a user okay i make it as a user that will be the username and also i want to update that another one as a kazi so that will be as a kazi okay so i simply update it so right now if you register any new user automatically that will be stored that our username before for these two of this user i didn't add any username right for the reasons i make it as a manually added one of the user and then kazi so now let's check this out if you now refresh it or page now go to a logging i want to logging with like as a um, user okay i logging with the user so that will be the user and for the user i put the password one two three four five six seven eight okay that is a eight now click as a login yeah we are successfully able to logging by the username okay friend i hope you like it very much so here we successfully done all the job for the breeze authentication system so in our next video step by step we will go more deep first of all as i told you here we'll create one of the complete project for the reasons we will load one of the new theme so we'll change everything as per our demand so how can do this work step by step i will show you everything with the live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video